Glenn, who that to you? Glenn, good to see you. Uh, he said, I heard a rumor about Clowney. Same rumor that's out there. You know, but imagine if the Saints could. We're looking at Ever what beats Everson Griffin would be Jadavion Clowney. Why? Because nobody sees that happening. Do we? Do we, family? Who sees that happening? Nobody sees Saints in, in the Jadavion Clowney signing. Nobody sees that. Why? Because he wants 18, 15 million, whatever it is. But what if he says, man, that's the Saints. Man, if y'all give me 10 here and 10 on this or that, the third, sign a one year prove it deal, then he get that would be special. But it would that would not surprise me based on if that's if the Saints are serious enough this year about the Super Bowl. They have Tom Brady there. If the Saints ink Jadavion Clowney, that's that to me. It's even so I love Everson Griffin. I think Everson Griffin would be the perfect compliment. Jadavion Clowney would be special because he would be it would be super sweet to get him because simply because of the fact that nobody's seen it happening because nobody thought it would happen based upon his money demands and the fact that the Saints wasn't going to spend that. But a union between them would be special, man. So hopefully with that rumor, that smoke, there's fire with that. Because there's several times that's been mentioned and I've heard about it as well. But we discount it because of the money, because of the demands from Clowney and the Saints' current economic situation. But $18 million from Warford plus these low bottom contracts and the fact that they threw up $5 million from Eastern when that finally happens, watch out. At this point in time, I'm not squashing anything right now. Because the Saints are obviously freeing up money for whatever reason. They don't need to free what you need to free up money for. Free agency is damn near over with. What you spraying up money for? What you trying to do? What you trying to get Kamara? What they the been did that if that was the case? They could have been inked them. They got them under contract and they extended the contracts of Ramcheck and Lattimore. So they got them under for the for the five years. So they're not looking at rearing up with those guys right now. I think the Saints are in a win now mode right now. They're in a win now mode, but they would eventually retain Kamara and Ramcheck and Lattimore. Those are the three big deals that you could see coming in the future. But look out for the loss of the guys like Demario Davis, unless he takes a, a cut in the pay to stay here. We could end up losing guys like that. But like I said, this is the part of time where I'm not going to defuse us, put any damn thing down because you never know. They're obviously freeing up money for some reason. And we'll see eventually. If it's Jadavion Clowney, I love it. If it's Griffin, I love it. Even if it's Marcus Golden or Clay Matthews, I love it. But let it be somebody with a history. Not no three or four, five or sacks here, ten, 10 sacks in five years or four years. Not nothing like that. I'm talking somebody that can actually be serious. Some guy that you can take serious at the position. I'm saying a guy like that who can knows how to get to the quarterback without you have to tell him anything. He already knows how to get there. He don't need you to tell him nothing. He knows already how to get there. That's what I'm looking for. And there's a premium on guys like that. And it's really a positive that you see so many of those guys out there right now. It's several of them right now on the, on the free agency that are extreme that you can get them for a bargain basement price a compared to a what they're capable of getting in any regular market you can get a class defensive pass rusher right now right now without having to develop the guy into something or deal with question marks here and there you know they're available right now right now right now so that's my thought process in the whole mixture is that you got to get the guys and if you're serious about winning and you're serious about making things shake you got to solve the pass rushing position by getting a good veteran and making it happen bottom line you won't see the best of cam jordan you know what you do you put somebody like griffin next to him or golden or clay matthews to him and watch what the hell happened watch what the hell happened cam will be revigorated because he don't have to worry about double and triple team blocks and if you can, if they're talking to getting to Davion Clowney, that's absolutely insane. I love it. Scoop says, uh, let's see, Clowney had three sacks last season. Pump your brakes. Scoop saying pump your brakes. He had three sacks last year, Scoop. But do you really think for a second that if you put Clowney on the Saints defensive line, it's just speculation now, but you can't rule out anything, to be honest with you, the way they operate. 
But if you have clowning, I'm talking the whole great Saints Tank Tank, even though I'm directing this at school. Clowning on the Saints defense, the Saints defensive line now, with the same person, David Onyemata, Sheldon Rankins, all Malcolm Brown as the interior guys on the defensive line, and Cam on the outside, do you really do expect him to get three sacks the entire summation of 2020 in 2021? Absolutely not. He's going to be single blocked a lot. He's going to be single blocked a lot. And the Saints won't overuse him because you have Davenport, a guy you can situation to move around up in there. The cherry on top of the proverbial ice cream, the Saints ice cream, would be if they were to add a guy like Everson Griffin. Or if we fortunate enough to get a Jadavion Clowney, I would like that too. And I would know that he would get, I would almost bet you that he would get more than three. If he's healthy and he's available for all those games, all the regular season games, on the Saints defensive line, Jadavion Clowney will get you a lot more than three sacks like he did for Seattle. I'm telling you. Perfect.